the 15 most common dating app mistakes and how to fix them in 15 minutes or less. No time to waste, let's go. So dating app mistake number one is not using AI, artificial intelligence, to make yourself better looking. So touching up a photo with AI to make yourself 25% better looking in a believable way can make a massive difference in the number of matches you get. I do it to all my photos, I do it to all my clients' photos, and a girl has never once commented that we look different than our photos. Dating app mistake number two, guys do everything themselves without using a virtual assistant. So dates earned from online dating are a factor of time spent. The more time you spend swiping and messaging girls, the more dates you will inevitably go on. And unless you're completely new to this whole picking up girls on Instagram or dating apps thing, then you've no doubt experienced that the vast majority of girls either just completely ignore you all out or they ghost you after one to two messages. Now, I have an elite service for guys where they can outsource their entire online dating to me, but like I said, this is an elite service for rich people only. For the rest of us, at least get a $3 an hour virtual assistant from a website like Upwork.com to swipe on girls based on your preferences, blondes, Latinas, whatever you like, and then maybe even send an opening message or two to the girls. Common dating app mistake number three is not using photofeeler.com to have girls rate your photo. So did you guys know that for around $2 per photo, you can get a panel of women to rate your photos on how attractive you are? The site is called Photo Feeler, and like I said, it does just that. Now, first of all, I have absolutely zero affiliation with this website, and how it works is you upload a photo, and within a few hours, a panel of real women will rate you on how attractive you look in that photo. And I found that the score that Photo Feeler gives you usually matches spot on for how well that photo performs on dating apps. And most of us completely suck at judging which photos we look best in. Even myself, someone who does this as a full-time job, as a full-time YouTuber, I'm completely shocked by the results I receive sometimes from this, so it's very powerful. And I generally only post photos on dating apps or my Instagram where I score around a seven or higher. Common dating app mistake number four is having a single bad photo. So have you ever been looking at a girl's, say, Tinder or dating profile and she's used certain lighting tricks, certain angles, uh, maybe makeup, etc., to make herself look really hot in most of the photos until you saw those last one or two and you saw what she actually really looks like without the filters, without the lighting, and you were like, oh God, no, and you swiped left immediately. So girls do that too. You are judged by your worst photo and a single bad photo can ruin everything for you. It's better to have only four or five amazing photos of you than to have 10 photos but you only look good in a few of them. Common dating app mistake number five, crappy photos in general. So I could speak on this for hours and actually have videos on this where I speak for quite a while, but here's some quick tips. In your photos, you should be well-groomed. You should wear nice clothing that fits you well, AKA it's too tight. You should try to dress business casual. And if you don't know what that means, just Google Tristan Tate fashion and try to copy that. Ideally, the photos should be taken on a DSLR camera. Aim to take the photos in luxurious locations, guys. So that means upscale rooftop lounges, nice hotels, nice apartments or penthouses, nice restaurants, on a boat or yacht in front of a pool, uh, in a jacuzzi, etc. Follow these principles and do a variety of solo shots and group shots, but make sure the first photo is a headshot of just you and it's portrait style like the ones you're seeing on the screen. In the description of the video, also I'm gonna put a link to a free Google album that has unlimited inspiration you can use for photo ideas, poses, outfits, locations, etc. Common dating app mistake number six, a boring or generic first message. So. The best way to get a response from girls on Instagram, especially on Instagram and also on dating apps, is to use curiosity-based openers. So a few examples of this are, I really like your photos, except one of them made me think X, Y, Z. Or one of your photos was particularly my favorite. Can you guess which one? Or based on your profile, I can tell we definitely have two things in common, dot, dot, dot. 
or hey, could I ask you a really personal question? By giving this curiosity, you're a lot more likely to get a response. Common dating app mistake number seven is not striking when the iron is hot. So what do I mean by that? When a girl messages you, it's by definition a convenient time for her to talk because she just messaged you. So you have to understand the sheer volume of girls are getting first of all. And now let's say she writes you at 11 a.m. and you don't respond because you're busy working or something. You often just blew your one and only shot. Now I wish it wasn't this way unfortunately, but by the time you respond to that girl six hours later, it's probably over with. Odds are she's probably spoken to 100 more guys or for whatever reason she isn't going to reply versus if you had struck when the iron is hot, you would have dramatically increased your odds of success. So this is why so many guys like my service where they outsource their online dating to me because either myself or account managers are basically available 24 seven to capitalize on that narrow window that she has to chat. Common dating app mistake number eight is boring messaging. So I can talk on this for hours, but a quick hack to make the conversation more interesting is to make sure you're either talking about one of three things. You're either talking about you, what your perspectives on life are, uh, what you're all about, her, asking her what her opinions are and getting more information on her, getting to know her, or the both of you together, things you have in common or reasons why you'd be a good fit together. And the one you want to avoid is talking about random bullshit. So baseball, the weather, politics, what you ate for lunch, etc. It's okay to talk about a band or artist that you like, as long as you quickly relate it back to her, to you or to the both of you. So stay on that on those three topics, you, her, or the both of you. Common dating app mistake number nine, wasting time on thinking of the perfect response, whether it's an opening message or just a message uh, in the middle of the conversation. The honest truth is that when it comes to getting a response to your direct messages on Instagram, it doesn't matter very much what you write in the opening message. Your profile does the work for you. So either you've portrayed that fun, interesting, high status lifestyle that she wants to be a part of and you're physically her type or you're not. And on dating apps, it matters a bit more how you open, sure, but uh, even still, you guys gotta be working so much volume, like you guys have no idea, so much volume, that if you spend time trying to craft these perfect messages and brainstorming, you're just wasting time because most girls are just gonna flake or ghost you anyway. Common dating app mistake number 10 is not properly escalating slash moving the interaction forward. So online dating has a few series of escalations. The first escalation is that you match with the girl. The second escalation is that you message her. The next one is that she responds, etc. You always need to be moving forwards or escalating towards a face-to-face -face date. So two particularly important escalations you want to make sure you hit on are one, you got to make sure it's sexual at one point, man to woman, flirtatious, etc. And two, you got to get them off the dating app and onto Instagram ideally or phone number. The reason Instagram is more ideal is because there's content on there like her stories, her photos that'll make for more interesting conversational topics. And the last escalation you want to hit on is a meetup of course, and you do this by first soft closing, AKA suggesting we should get a drink, we should hang out sometime, and then later you hard close it by giving an exact date, time, and location. Common dating app mistake number 11, setting your distance too far. So this is a quick and obvious one. If you set your distance to be too far, then most girls are gonna ignore your messages just because they don't wanna drive you know, 60, 70 miles to meet you. Uh, if you're in a small town, then consider using Instagram instead of dating apps because in small towns, you can swipe for 20, 30 minutes and completely run out of girls where you'll almost never run out of enough uh, girls on Instagram. And if you wanna learn more how to text girls on Instagram, uh, check out the first video I ever published on this channel. Matter of fact, there's also a link in the bio where I have the complete Instagram masterclass from A to Z. It's 45 minutes and covers everything Thing you need to know about picking up girls on Instagram. Common dating app mistake number 12, not qualifying the girl. So to qualify the girl means you give reasons why you like her or why the two of you would be a good match for each other other than her looks. So, so I'll repeat that. When you qualify a girl, you're explaining why you like her or why the two of you would work well together in a way that has zero to do with her looks, nothing to do with her boobs and her ass guys. So if you wanna massively lower your your flake rate, 
you must make the girl feel special to a certain degree, right? She has to believe that there's specific reasons and things about her, again, other than her tits and ass that makes her special. So you can say things like, you know, that's great that we're both uh, really against woke culture, or it's great that we're really into fitness. I hate, I can't stand girls that don't work out. Or I love that you're very in touch with your femininity. You're not trying to be a boss bitch, you know, things like that. That's how you build that rapport with her. That's how you reduce flaking by making her feel special. Common dating app mistake number 13, not texting her like a high value man. So there's already an entire video about this on the channel. You can look for that. But the main characteristics of texting her like a high value man is that you just show her that you're not won over so easily. So she should get the feeling that you're still evaluating her, right? She needs to put a little bit more work in to fully win you over, that you're not super easy, you're still a bit of a challenge, etc. So you can say things like, hey, you know, I'm liking you so far, dot, dot, dot. Or, um, yeah, you know, this is going great. I just hope that you're equally charming in person. Or you can say things, hey, yeah, like, I would love to teach you English uh, so long as you cook for me. Do we have a deal? You could say, drinks are on me so long as you provide me with stimulating conversation, etc. Things like that. That's high value man texting. Common dating app mistake number 14, doing something controversial in a photo or having something highly controversial in your bio. So doing drugs, talking about politics, videos or photos where you're clearly drunk or really wasted, or just doing something really low value like playing video game, don't do it. Girls are looking at guys' profiles not for things they like, but for things they don't like, and that'll just get you eliminated right away. Common dating app mistake number 15, boring bio or no bio at all. So I'm gonna to put together a masterclass on how to write a bio in the future, but here's some basic notes to get you started. Make it funny, talk about what you're looking for, what you like, equally talk about what you don't like and what you're not looking for, and then maybe include something just a little bit edgy, and this can relate to what you're not looking for. So you can say something like, by the way, I'm not really looking for a girl who put her pronouns in her bio. I can already tell you're a girl, LOL. Another thing for your bio is share something interesting about you. So do you train a martial art? Are you a YouTuber? Do you throw epic parties, etc.? And lastly, keep it short, keep it concise. And when you're writing it, space it out in like nice lines and paragraphs. Don't put it all as one wall of text. Okay guys, there you have it. That was the 15 most common dating app mistakes and how to fix them delivered to you in under 15 minutes. Now, if you guys want personalized help from me in any way, such as, I don't know, maybe you want me to do all your social media content for you so you can come across as a really high value guy with a cool lifestyle and girls will actually respond to your DMs because they wanna be part of that lifestyle. Or maybe you wanna be one of my clients. Maybe you want to outsource your entire online dating to me, have me and or one of my account managers find the girls, text the girls, build rapport, and only pass them off to you once they're ready to go on a date. We can do that for you. Uh, maybe you want a coaching call, etc. cetera. Um, you can find out all that information on my website, which is redbeardrants.net. I also have a free Telegram group. The link to the free Telegram group will be in the description of this video. You can get a, a hold of me really easy. I'm very active in there. I will answer all your questions. Uh, lastly, give me a follow on Instagram. It's just redbeardrants1. That's my Instagram. And that's all I got for now, guys. Peace.